Is she in a relationship? <laughs> it's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stay. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Pamela. If you're new today i have the long-awaited life update i haven't done a life update for almost a year now life has just been lifing and today i'll be answering all your guys' questions along with updating you guys on my love life my dating life my home life everything you guys have been wanting to know along with my simple everyday makeup routine i honestly haven't been trying to wear makeup recently just because I've been doing a lot to my skin. But this is my everyday makeup routine when I do go out or I do go to work, stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. Also, don't forget to like this video for more. So before we get started with today's life update, I have been trying out these matcha shots that have been giving me such good energy throughout my day. And if you guys have seen my last video, I've been trying out these magic mind matcha shots they are really good at giving you really effective energy super good for your health it has a lot of vitamins for your immune system it has lion's mane mushrooms making you feel super focused and creative love that it keeps you relaxed it helps your immune system and it keeps you focused giving you energy all in one little shot right here it also tastes delicious sometimes when i want to wean myself off of coffee or not have too much caffeine in the morning i'll do this instead i'll use it as a pre-workout basically if you drink coffee or caffeine it's blocking the neuroreceptors in your brain when the the caffeine wears off it releases and it causes you to crash and caffeine also gives you a lot of jitters and nervousness and it suppresses your appetite so this is the complete opposite of that it helps everything connect a little bit better so you are more creative a lot more focused i love that it doesn't curb my appetite at all like i'm able to eat throughout the day even when i drink these the main thing is i have anxiety a lot of the time and this really helps me to keep calm being a content creator working a lot having kids all that stuff i always get very stressed and i procrastinate because i'm just overwhelmed so this helps me just to keep a very healthy amount of energy and also gets me it gets me going <laughs> I do have a discount code if you guys are interested in trying these out to use code PamelaR20 at checkout for more than 50% off of your purchase. You can also get a 100% refund policy if you guys end up not liking it. Highly recommend if you guys want to give it a try, check out the link down below. I'm low-key a little nervous because I haven't filmed in so long. I kind of have been procrastinating this video, but this is the second time I've been filming this. The first time all the audio cut out, so here we go. I'm gonna start off by pinning up my hair. I'm not really gonna talk through any of the products. I will try to list them down below in the description if you guys are interested. I actually asked you guys on Instagram probably about a month ago. So I asked you guys what questions you guys have for today's video and I'm finally filming it, oh my God. A lot of you guys have been wanting to know, is she in a relationship? <laughs> I think I should catch you up since the last time I did my life update cause that's only fair. So much has happened since then. I was talking about how I didn't want to date. <laughs> I was microdosing at the time, healing from a breakup. And I was just in this point in my life where I wanted everything to just change. I just want to be honest with you guys. Like, I don't really like dating. I still don't. But I feel like I had to do it just because I needed to figure out what I genuinely like and wanted. I only been on one date. <laughs> Technically too, during that time, I was very against going on dates just because I hate small talk. I don't like wasting people's time if I know like it's not gonna go anywhere. I just don't really like getting close to people I don't know. It's just very awkward for me. But after a while, I kind of realized like the only way to, for me to figure out what I genuinely want and like, I have to experience different things. I just went with the flow, you know? So I went on a date. That date was... It was good, 
But I also just wasn't in that state of mind of even trying to entertain anyone or being in a relationship. I just like lose interest really fast. And I'm just the type of girl who if something isn't clear and concise or if it's too confusing, I'm just gonna not deal with it at all. I was definitely in my ghosting phase for sure. So after that, I went back into my little shell and I really asked myself like what do i want especially in a relationship like what are the main things my non-negotiables do i want in a relationship slash a partner and i ended up writing all those qualities down on a piece of paper but i was just really really focused on myself my health like my mental so here is where everything started to switch up and at the time i didn't really notice it until after the fact so i'm just like speaking from my perspective okay next thing you know tall dark and handsome walks into my job and at the time like i wasn't even in that state of mind of like dating or getting to know people so he didn't even like catch my eye right off the rip i just was just like so caught up in my own world but he started coming in <laughs> It's just so funny talking about this right now. I never thought like this would ever happen. So he walks in my job. He starts coming in every single week, like every single week. Came down to a point where he was just like a regular in the spot that I work at. Kind of just seen him as that. I didn't really think anything else. When I tell you guys, I wasn't giving him any type of play at all for months. So after a while, he asked me to hang out after work and i did we just went to another spot i don't want to go all the way into our love story but if this confirms to you guys yes i'm in a new relationship your girl has a new bae if you're watching babe <laughs> i love you so much has changed i didn't even see this one coming at all now that i look back on it i was just like whoa he really just knew what he wanted all his qualities as a man and values and all those things line up with what i wanted and what i wrote down so i just can't believe everything just flowed so well together and don't get me wrong like this whole process was really scary just because i've only been in relationships that weren't so good for me and i was really scared to let myself be vulnerable again because i just been through so much i just didn't want it to happen again this time i actually went with how i felt instead of just overthinking everything I tried to just give it a clean slate and i feel like i'm only blocking my own blessings if i let my past dictate what i do now yeah your girl is in a new relationship and it's going so good obviously it's not perfect there's ups and downs but all in all, it's been great. I feel like God has blessed me so much in so, such a short period of time. That reminds me of the questions you guys have been asking me on Instagram. Some of you guys have been wanting to know, did you get married? Are you a mommy now? Oh my God, I'm so happy to see that you're back. I've been here since day one. Thank you, girl. Technically, yeah. I mean, I've always been a mom. You guys know I've always had a son. And I just feel like now I'm a new mom in a, in a way because I've never had a stepchild or anything like that. And now I actually have a little stepdaughter who's so amazing and loving and just like the best little ball of energy that I could be around. Like so caring and giving and I just love I love her so much and I never thought I would have a relationship like this with somebody else's kid and that's honestly why I told myself I would never date anyone with kids. Now I realize like maybe that's what I needed this whole time because they can understand like what I'm going through as a parent and we first met <laughs> our kids ended up being the same age a boy and a girl like who would have known like so perfect they get along really really well so now I'm a mom of two, <laughs> which sounds so funny, but honestly, like, I wouldn't have it any other way. There's just so much love around me, and it's just, like, a great feeling to have, like, a, a family support system. It is a challenge, though, I would say, because I feel like I have to relearn how to be a mom again and be a mom in a different way. So I think that was a little bit of a challenge for me at first. When you parent your own child for so many years, it's like they're already in their own ways now and you kind of like have your own system going but then when you add another child to it it's like you have to relearn yourself in that relationship with that person 
and get a new routine going. There's like a lot of things that I had to learn with myself, especially since she's a girl and I've never had a girl before and it is a whole nother life. <laughs> to answer your question, not married as of yet. And that brings me to this, the whole background change. Yes, I did move. I moved like a few months ago and the house is so beautiful, you guys. I can't wait to do a house tour and show you guys the new vibes, the new aesthetics, and it's such a great, good size to like grow a family if we wanted to. It's just a breath of fresh air. As you guys know, I've been cooped up in my little room that I had before. <laughs> I mean, I made it work, but it was just not the vibes. I just decided to keep this whole relationship because we've been together for a while now, and I just wanted to keep this whole relationship to myself. I just feel like it was the better thing to do. I felt like I made that such a priority to, before to put my relationship out there. And I feel like that just allowed a lot of outside energy into my personal life. I just didn't want to push this whole YouTube thing on other people just because I know like the camera's not for everybody. I think I just needed to like get to know him on a different level and make sure our relationship was you know had a stable foundation i don't know because at the same time what's meant for you is will always be for you i really just wanted to you know do things in private and make sure it was the real thing before he meets you guys oh okay so another question you guys wanted to know was what was your journey on getting into a new relationship this kind of ties into the whole like healing journey and all that stuff you guys know in my last video i was microdosing at the time and i felt like that helped so much as far as just understanding my emotions from a different perspective because when you are such a empath or you feel your emotions a lot it's kind of hard to logically like understand them just because you're feeling so much so microdosing really helped me to step out of that and really look from the outside inwards and figure out what i needed to heal the one thing i felt like i needed to heal before getting into a relationship was my attachment style so if you guys don't know what that is it's just how you relate to other people in relationships and that can actually be affected by how you've been treated in the past i felt like i was just living in fear a lot of the time because i've had really toxic relationships so i didn't have a healthy relationship experience to lean back on so i felt like i needed to heal how i relate to other people in relationships so i read a whole bunch of books on that I actually taught myself how to come from a very anxious avoidant attachment style to a very secure attachment style and they have all these tests and stuff you can do to figure out if anything has changed or if your attachment style has changed so that's something i worked on while i was like single and like not trying to date and all that stuff it's because that's going to help you build your confidence as a person you're also going to figure out your self-worthiness as well so i had a really hard time at first because i was just think a certain way and it was always negative and it was always in fear and I just never knew how to get out of that. Mainly it's just how you think about certain things and knowing that there's different ways to think about a certain thing, you know? It doesn't always have to be your fight or flight reaction to things, which is your survival mode. You can always choose to be happy. That's always something I always said. The whole journey on getting into my new relationship, I felt like it was a whole attraction thing. It was becoming the woman I wanted to be and then it was attracting somebody who was on that level because you guys <laughs> let me tell you right now this man was someone who's not my type or wasn't my type at the time he definitely is my type now but at the time he was not at all and i say that not because of like appearance wise or anything like that i say that because i was very used to toxic emotionally unavailable guys who i had to figure out who i had to fix who needed some type of like mother figure in a sense that's something that i didn't heal before and honestly it goes all the way back to childhood on how you were raised and how emotionally available your parents were and all that stuff but not to go too deep <laughs> if you're not self-aware about why you're attracted to certain people then obviously you're gonna keep repeating the pattern but for me i really wanted change i really wanted something different 
and I literally prayed every night about it. The new me needed to develop an attraction and a chemistry and a whole like intimacy level that is way different from before so obviously i'm going to be uncomfortable obviously i'm going to be experiencing different feelings that i haven't experienced before and our egos get to this point of survival where it's always protecting you from everything i kind of just realized those feelings and understood them i didn't have those feelings block my blessings in any way that's why i was able to attract such a valuable partner and somebody who's so like like such a great person. When we crossed paths, it was kind of like, wow, he is really different. I knew he was good for me, but it's also because I had to become what I saw myself as in that relationship. So yeah, that was my whole journey on getting into this one. It came very unexpectedly, but I was just focusing on myself. I was making me the best version of myself, so I was ready for love. Even though at the time when he came into my life, I didn't know if I was ready or not. Your soul knows you're ready and your mind just has to catch up for it. And I was doing the work already. At the same time, I felt like it came fast, but it also came when I was ready, so. As far as dating though, I feel like it's just still not my thing. Like I really don't like it. And honestly, the second date I went on was with him, so. The next question you guys wanted to know is if I'm still microdosing. So currently, I am not at all. I honestly just didn't feel like I needed it anymore. Um, I got into a point in my life where I'm very emotionally stable for the most part. Sometimes I have my moments. <laughs> it's still a work in progress. Like I'm still learning every day. I'm still um, figuring out how to manage how I feel without letting it take over and all that stuff but i feel like i gotten so much better microdosing really helped in the beginning because i feel like i had no control but now that i kind of have an idea with it i like practicing it on my own and really like embodying it naturally i feel like it's a good tool just to always have here and there just in case like if you want to be more present i know like life gets busy sometimes we kind of like lose track on things with ourselves and just letting life take over so i definitely do think that it's helpful here and there but i'm not consistent with it at all but it definitely did help me a lot another question was how has life been treating you you always seem like you have everything all together love you so much love you too my life is not perfect i feel like i definitely have came a long way and i've definitely worked hard for the life i have now and I told you guys this in my other video when I manifested my dream car and all this stuff. You literally just have to know that it's yours. You know that you deserve it and it comes to you. As long as you keep doing the work on yourself, on your mental health. Like I always said that like your life will become a reflection of the work that you do on the inside. And as long as you keep doing the work, your life will flourish. It's not perfect, don't get me wrong. Like, I feel like I could be 10 steps ahead, especially with like this YouTube thing. Um, just in my career in general, like I feel like I could just be way more ahead than I am right now. But I obviously had to understand like different blessings was coming in my life maybe the blessings that i actually needed at that time were coming in my life instead of the big picture that i wanted in in general so the little wins really do matter and when you look back you'll be like wow my whole life is totally different just because all those little wins add up i just can't believe where i'm at right now like my life is just completely different from a year ago it's completely different it transformed like overnight it feels like yeah, it seems like I have it all together because I don't show a lot of the things I go through um, just because I actually want to be present in them and like learn myself. So for that, I have to be 100% present. It seem like that <laughs> just because I try to like not focus too much on the negative, you know? Somebody else said, how have you been feeling on the inside? Honestly, I've been feeling really overwhelmed, <laughs> to be honest. I just have a lot going on at once, and it's not a bad thing at all. Like, I just love everything that's happening, and I'm very grateful for it. But at the same time, it is exhausting, and honestly, that's why I took a break from YouTube a little bit. 
and backed up from doing so many videos because it does take a toll on my mental health even though i feel like i've been doing a lot of like work on myself i feel like this is just a new me that i have to get to know at the same time like i'm just learning so many new things about myself every day and sometimes it's just draining mentally just because you just think of life in a different way so i've been feeling overwhelmed but very very at peace with myself very grateful and just blessed like i just feel like god was doing something this whole time and i finally get to see like what he was working on this whole time you know another question was somebody asked if I'm still taking something from my skin, as you guys can see, like my skin looks pretty good right now, but <laughs> um, it's not perfect. I actually haven't been taking anything um, like this whole time until this last month because I felt like I just, my hormones are coming back up and like kind of getting imbalanced just because I've been on the move so much. So I started taking spironolactone again. I only take it before bed because it makes me so exhausted. But I haven't been taking it this whole time, this whole year, until the last this last month right now. So my skin has been pretty good, but I felt like I was getting a lot of cystic bumps. Not even a lot, just like enough to make me want to take it again. I'm just doing a lot of microneedling treatments. So I've been getting like chemical pills and microneedling treatments. And I feel like those treatments kind of make your skin purge a lot more so the spironolactone kind of keeps my hormones in balance while my skin purges so it's not like overreacting to the whole treatment and breaking out everywhere when i get my skin to the point i want it to be then i'll probably slow down on taking spironolactone but for now i just feel like it's working so well and I don't have a reason to stop. You guys have been DMing me about your experiences with spironolactone. I'm so happy you guys are trying it out and it's working for you guys. I just know how it feels to have acne and if I can recommend something small that will help you and make you feel confident, like I'm just so glad that it's actually helping a lot of you guys out there. I know I did my makeup so backwards. I did the eyes last, but I honestly wasn't planning on doing eyeshadow because I have lashes on, but... I haven't been putting concealer at all under my eyes. I might do a little bit just to brighten it up. Great in here. Somebody else said, where do you see yourself in five years? What type of energy do you bring to this world? <laughs> I don't want to get too specific in everything because I, don't, I genuinely feel like you should definitely keep your goals to yourself um, until they're accomplished. But I definitely want to have my own business probably three years max and then hopefully i'm owning a whole bunch of other stuff by the time five years hits i don't know hopefully we're married by then <laughs> not that that's a goal i just want that to happen naturally it's just i don't know i just know what i want for my life and if it happens, it happens. But other than that, I feel like if I say anything else, it will give away a lot. So I'm not going to go super deep into that. But the energy I bring into this world, I think my honest goal in this life is to heal other people. Is to love unconditionally and allow people to feel that through me. I think doing that through skincare, through self-care is what really helps a mass majority of people in this world in my eyes like no one can really heal you you have to do that for yourself and if i can teach people how to do that for themselves then i know that my purpose is reaching a mass majority of the world and it will live on so i definitely feel like i bring a really healing energy into this world a really like loving compassionate energy and i just want everyone to be able to experience that either through my content or through my businesses or just even in personal relationships. Genuinely want everyone to feel me. <laughs> Moving into this house and being in this relationship has like shifted. It was like a whole transitional t period in my life. This is only a few months ago. And during this time, I was going through a lot like emotionally. I was experiencing a lot of spiritual things <laughs> during this time. But the main one was I felt like my childhood was finally ending um, and I had to actually let go of it. And that same week, it was literally a week before I moved into this house, my dog had passed and she was alive for almost 20 years. Like this dog was like my childhood 
friend. Like, she, I actually birthed her and raised her myself, and she ended up passing away very tragically. It hurt me a lot, but at the same time, I felt like it was my childhood, like, shedding its skin almost and letting me go into this new life. Like, I don't know, pretty deep, but <laughs> this time in my life right now is just very very significant and I, that's why i want to be super present with everything every inch of my life right now and really learn everything i'm supposed to learn and just getting more in touch with god as well and making sure he's in my everyday life um because i feel like in the past i would feel like i would heal and come to this point where nothing is wrong and then i feel like i would lose touch with my relationship with god so now i'm trying to just bring that all back in and really realize like it's okay to have this relationship even when things are going well. Yeah, we went through the bad, but all the good is just as important. But us as humans, we tend to focus on negativity so much because it like affects us in a different way. But the more you focus on the good, the more good happens. So that's what I want to focus on right now in my life. I just miss you guys so much. I just I'm just rambling right now. I'm just gonna do a quick lip color. I've been loving this like nudie pink. You guys will probably see it on my reels. It's kind of like a peachy vibe, perfect for summertime. And then I'm just gonna go in with a little lip liner. I always find it's easier to align my lips after I put a lipstick on. Just like that. Alright guys, I think this is the final look. <sighs> I haven't done a get ready with me in so long. <laughs> I've actually been trying not to wear makeup as much just because I've been getting so much microneedling. Um, so I've honestly just been doing tinted moisturizer at the most and maybe my brows and that's about it i definitely feel like i had such a great talk with you guys today i miss you guys so much you guys don't even know i'm definitely going to put out a new house tour very very soon so stick around for that maybe you guys will meet my new bae really really soon depending on how he wants to show up on the channel of course i'm so excited for this new chapter and sharing with you guys my new life but before we head out don't forget to try out the magic mind matcha shots i feel like anyone can benefit from these it just really is a healthy way to get your caffeine in and also just be more productive throughout your day especially if you're a busy girl like me it makes you feel good as well and i definitely feel like it definitely helps my immune system because usually when i'm on the go i always tend to get sick but I haven't since I've been taking these and I know you guys will love them too. Make sure you guys check down below for the description box. I will have a link down below. And you guys can use my code PamelaR20 at checkout for more than 50% off of your purchase. But I definitely do think it's worth giving a try. So don't forget to check down below. All right guys, so this is it for my life update. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to like this video so I know to make more. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss my next upload. And I will see you guys in the next one. Yeah, yeah.